All right, let's see if we can get all this, all these agents. So there are 374. Let's see if we can get these all into a table. So the first thing I usually do is just highlight some text in the table and then right click it. And then go to table capture and click launch workshop for selection. Uh, what typically happens is some portion of these repeating elements will get highlighted and you have to use the table here to tell table capture where um, the, like the container of all these repeating elements begins and ends. Um, so the way you do that is by clicking select parent element uh, and you can see that what's highlighted has changed. If you click it again, now you can see that it has 105 rows, two columns, uh, and it looks like this whole thing is, uh, is highlighted, which looks right. So um, there's this break columns link, which is good for like turning this data into more like more of a column, columnified sort of thing. One thing to note though is um, you can see like there's an email button here, but there isn't, and but there isn't a uh, website button, uh, and so these might not be uniform, and table capture will do it the best. So let's see what happens if I just break columns. So if I click that, and then just look at the data, it looks pretty decent. Actually, looks pretty great. Uh, the other thing to note is that it looked like this. So there are 324 agent, agents here, but only 105 are showing. It looked like this table was growing as we scrolled. So let's turn on dynamic tables. And then as we scroll down, let's see if this increases. So we're still at 105. Oh, but now you can see it's increasing. And so we can just scroll all the way to the very bottom of this table or of this, it's not really a table, but of, of these results, and uh, just get all of the all of the entries. Interesting. So there are more than 374. Uh, I don't know how many you're expecting. OK, so it looks like there are 524. Um, yeah. I wonder if that number at the top is going to change. Hmm, I'm not sure where that difference comes from. But there's also this auto-scrolling feature, which could be helpful for even longer uh, like lists and tables. So once you do that, you can use these buttons to download to Excel, to CSV. Uh, I like this button a lot because it just gives you a quick little preview of your data. And you can kind of sanity check it and see if it's like in a good place. Uh, you can also just do a little bit of um, like cleanup via this uh, editor. So if you don't want some columns, you can just highlight and click delete column. Say we don't want these actions. Um, so you can do this kind of thing. So it looks like there's just a bar right there, which we can get rid of. And then, um, yeah, once again, you can perform these actions to, uh, to get your data into the spreadsheet app of choice. All right, hope this helps. Thank you.